Ah, there you are. Hi, everyone on the internet. Um, I was looking for Corona because I just got a special delivery, blah, blah, special delivery from Rick's Motorsport Electrics, and I'm really excited. So excited I can barely even speak, and I really can't wait to show it to you guys. So while this isn't a tech talk, I want to go over to the bench and just quickly go over uh, this new, latest, greatest, amazing thing that we just got from Rick's Motorsport Electric. Now, we've been talking with Rick's for a couple of months about getting a kit together for a MOSFET regulator rectifier that is not only an amazing state-of-the-art MOSFET regulator rectifier, but also optimized for lithium iron phosphate batteries like the ones we sell from Anti-Gravity. And we finally got our first one in today. So this is what it is. It looks an awful lot like the Shindinjin uh, version, the FH020AA, which is kind of the other one that's state-of-the-art. The issue we had with that particular reg rec is that it's been knocked off and copied and there are too many fakes floating around in the world that we were never sure about what we were selling and anyone buying them is never really sure about what they're getting. So we had Rick's make a better one, a newer one, and this one is optimized for lithium iron phosphate batteries. Fantastic. Um, still uses the same uh, Furukawa style connectors and these guys are really, really nice, waterproof and just clip in. Because the connectors are all tied in right with the reg rec, that means that this is a cleaner install and just a whole lot tidier way to do it. Um, so if you've got an old regulator rectifier on your bike, something that's more than 20 years old, it's time to replace it because it's worn out and it's only a matter of time before it fails. Um, this new reg rec is actually compatible with lead acid batteries, the traditional type, in addition to the new type of um, lithium iron phosphate. So. What makes this regulator special, uh, what makes it optimized for the lithium iron phosphate batteries is that it has a lower voltage set point. The, the lithium batteries can't handle excessive charge voltage and a lot of uh, modern regulator rectifiers have their set point uh, pretty high at like 14.7. Well, 14.7 is sort of the upper limit of what a lithium battery can handle. Um, and that means you're kind of just always running your battery right at the red line. You're just pushing it as hard as you can. Um, where this is going to back it off a little bit and it is optimized for the lithium battery, but it is also compatible with the lead acid battery. Now it's not going to push the lead acid battery as hard as some of the other ones that are specific for lead acid, but it's still going to charge it up just fine. It just might take a, a little bit longer, just a few extra minutes to get that charge up. Uh, also worth noting that although this is a three-phase permanent magnet type regulator, um, it will also work on a single phase system. Um, for most single phase systems, this will be gross overkill, but by grossly overkilling it, that means it's gonna last pretty much indefinitely. So this is the, the latest, the greatest, the fanciest, the best um, reg rec that we've ever gotten our hands on. And we can't wait to start selling these to you guys so that you can get the best technology on your bike. And pretty much this works with about 90% of street bikes that everybody's still messing around with. So this is probably the one you need. So like I said, this is not a tech talk. Uh, we will be doing a tech talk on this specific product, but that's coming out in, in the next couple of weeks. So rather than waiting that long, we want to do this quick version right now for you guys. Um, it's still the middle of the day. I got to get back to work. So check out the link below. Go to revivalcycles.com and see all the other amazing products that we've handpicked just for you and your build. And uh, with that, yeah, I got to fly. I got too much to do. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. More on this MOSFET reg rack.